Imagine this, your electric car upside down, rolling again and again. What's the first thing you worry about? The battery, right? Fire, explosions, the absolute worst case scenario. It's a nightmare for anyone in an EV. But here's the twist. What if that nightmare actually proved something else? What if it showed you a car that's built like a tank, even while flipping through the air? The BYD Sea Lion 06, a brand new electric SUV, just went through a test so extreme, you'd think it came from a Hollywood stunt reel. And I'm not talking about a soft tip over here. This was a violent, full-blown, high-speed rollover. And what it did was incredible. This wasn't just about passing some safety test. This was about rewriting the rules for what we expect from EV safety in the real world. So in this video, we're going to break down exactly what happened, frame by frame, and uncover the engineering secrets inside the Sea Lion 06 that helped it walk away from a crash that would terrify most drivers. And by the end of this, you'll understand why this BYD might just give you more peace of mind than any other EV out there. <laughs> but there's also something hidden, a reason why BYD even bothered to do this kind of test, a reason that could change how you see the entire EV market. Stick around, because this gets deeper than you think. So, how did BYD pull off this seemingly impossible feat? Well, it starts with something you can't even see from the outside. For years, EV skeptics have been haunted by one question. What if the battery gets hit? One bad crash, one rollover, the battery scrapes the ground, gets punctured, and then, boom. Fire, explosion thermal runaway, and we've all seen those viral videos, EVs engulfed in flames, lithium-ion fires that burn hotter than you can imagine and are nearly impossible to put out. <laughs> but BYD? They have a secret weapon, actually. Two, introducing the blade battery and their cell-to-body architecture, or CTB. Let's start with the blade battery. It's not just a catchy name. This thing is designed to be brutally tough. Instead of dozens of tiny modules, BYD uses long, thin cells like blades stacked in a tight formation. That formation? It makes the entire pack incredibly strong. And to prove it, they did something insane. They literally drove a nail through it. A test designed to simulate the worst-case internal puncture. The result? No fire. No smoke. No thermal runaway. Just... Silence. The blade battery kept working. In a rollover, that kind of durability could mean the difference between life and death. This battery, it's built like armor for your power. Now, let's talk about cell-to-body architecture, CTB. It's revolutionary. Instead of the battery being a box bolted beneath the car, BYD integrated the battery into the car's actual structure. Imagine the battery is no longer just cargo. It is the spine of the vehicle. This makes the chassis way stiffer and way stronger. So when the c Line 06 flipped, and I mean really flipped, the CTB design helped keep the passenger compartment intact. The frame didn't cave in. The battery stayed protected. Crash forces? Redirected. Away from you. Away from the battery. Away from disaster. That is what makes the c Line 06's rollover test so unbelievable. The car tumbled. Hard. But the CTB architecture held the body together. And the blade battery? Stayed. Put, no sparks, no smoke, no explosion. Just a car that survived an extreme test and landed on its wheels, ready to drive away. But why does this even matter to you? Because even today, a lot of people hesitate to go electric. There's always that voice in the back of your mind. What if I crash? What about the battery? Rollovers are some of the most dangerous crashes. The car hits different surfaces. The structure twists, occupants are at high risk, and in EVs, there's the added danger of a battery rupture, or worse. <laughs> but the Sea Lion 6 stood its ground, because it isn't just one feature, it's a system. The blade battery, with thermal stability and insane puncture resistance. The cell-to-body architecture, turning the battery into a structural beast. Advanced safety tech like AEB, lane keep assist, blind spot detection, designed to prevent crashes and protect you when they happen. These aren't just buzzwords. These are real, physical answers to real-world fears. Back to the test. So how did it all play out in that extreme scenario? When the Sea Lion's 06 went through that violent flip, the roof held, the pillars stayed upright, 
the passenger cell didn't collapse. And that battery? Unmoved, untouched, unbothered. No fire, no fault, just strength. Sure, other EVs also get five-star ratings. That's important, but many of those tests don't go this far. BYD's test goes beyond the checklist, into the nightmare scenarios, and still walks out the other side. So is this just a flashy PR stunt? Or is this the future of how automakers will prove safety? The answer? This changes everything. This isn't just BYD saying, we're safe. It's them saying, we're not just playing by the rules, we're redefining them. The Sea Lion 06 is based on the Seal U, a car that already earned five stars from Euro NCAP and ANCAP. That means it's passed the harshest, most brutal tests on Earth. Frontal impacts, side crashes, pedestrian safety, child protection. It aced them all. Tesla Model Y, Hyundai Ioniq 5. Yes, they're excellent, but what BYD just did is different. They went beyond the brochure, beyond the simulations. They flipped the car for real and showed the world. This is a wake-up call to the entire industry. You can build EVs that are not just clean, but strong. Not just efficient, but resilient. Not just smart, but survivable. So if you're seriously thinking about your next EV, and safety matters to you, not just in lab conditions, but in the real world, then take a very close look at the BYD Sea Lion 06. Check the full crash test reports. Watch the videos. See it for yourself. Because this car isn't just a stylish ride. It's a statement that EV safety has just leveled up. And with more and more electric vehicles hitting the road, knowing which ones actually protect you is more important than ever. Don't just follow the crowd. Choose smart. So what do you think? Did this change your view on EV safety? Or maybe your view on BYD? Drop a comment down below. I read every single one. And hey, if you want to see more deep dives into car tech and real world safety, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Because trust me, We've got some wild tests and hidden tech stories coming your way real soon.